I like cast iron pots and pans. A lot. Unfortunately, on the internet, there are a lot of people that make it seem really complicated. I guess if it's more complicated, that makes their videos more interesting because they have more interesting things to say. But the hard truth is that cast iron is super easy to take care of and use. I've got a lot of it right behind me here. You can see. I built this pot holder into my wall so they would always be handy next to my stove. Now, some babies will tell you that cast iron is a reactive metal and that sounds really interesting. And then they'll tell you that you can't do tomato sauces or anything acid, like cooking with wine, which is basically all cooking. Because the pans will turn your tomato sauce purple. Now, isn't that an interesting thing to say? It's also hooey. Because a well-seasoned cast iron pan can stand up to a tomato sauce without any problem. Just last week, I made a great meatball sauce. You can see my video on how to make that sauce probably up here somewhere. Once your cast iron pots and pans are cool enough to handle but still warm, bring them over to the sink where you're just going to scrub them down with nice hot water. Now you want to scrub them when they're hot, you want to use hot water because that is going to be the easiest thing to help get them clean. Now I've got this little brush here it's got that scraper side on the back and that's all I ever need to just scrape off any stuck on food and brush away the excess fat. And that's done. And look at the way the water just rolls off that guy. Now the key to cast iron is to never let it sit and get wet. So you've got a bunch of people on the internet who are towel drying greasy cast iron and probably ruining a bunch of towels. Now all I do is once I've done scrubbing it down with hot water, I throw it back on the stove top. I've got the timer option. I never need more than about three minutes. And then what I do to keep this guy nice and greasy is I take my olive oil which is really hard to open with one hand as you can see there she goes put a little bit of olive oil on there and that's gonna cure into the pan now I don't use any paper towel so all I've got For the random times that I do need a little bit of paper, just grab a little piece of toilet paper and move that around. Now this is simultaneous, simultaneously, that's a hard word, going to re-oil, re-season, and completely dry your pan. Just leave it for about three minutes. If you forget about it for more than that, you're going to end up just really baking that seasoning into the pan which is not a problem. Also, the interesting people on the internet will tell you to use an oil with a high smoke point. Isn't that an interesting thing to say? And I guess they're probably right. Vegetable oil is best. Shortening is great. But the only thing I have in my house is olive oil. And you know what? It works fine as well. Once your pan is cool enough to handle, you're going to want to put it away. The best way to store it is to hang it up. Now I hang up my cast iron, except for this guy who just lives either on the stove. He's got a little spot right back there. 
Hanging your cast iron is another way to make sure that it's completely dry and doesn't get any rust dots on it. Now that will keep the cooking surface of your pan perfectly seasoned. But what about the back side? When it starts to get in need of a little bit of seasoning, well, what you do is a little bit different. Here you put a little bit of oil on it, upside down. Rub it all over, another piece of paper towel. And then, into the oven, about 350, for about a half an hour. Then once it's done, you turn the oven off, and just leave it in there until it's completely cool. That'll re-season your whole pan, and make sure it never rusts out, or has any problems. That is all that I have to say about caring for cast iron pans and the people on the internet that want to make you believe that it has to be difficult. If I missed anything or there is anything else you would like me to say, you can tell me in the comment sections. This is also the time of the video where I will remind you to like the video, to subscribe to all of my videos, and of course, I would love to hear whatever you think about this stuff in the comments. Now, you should stop watching the video because it is over. What are you still doing here, man? It's, it's time to go. It's time to go. Go, 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 go. See ya.